I am immediately going to swap over to the American server, guys. Because it is time for a very fun other best of one. And that is uh, Bully versus Upper Tree. Bully was the champ of the Community Rumble. We saw Bully earlier defeat Lethal and Pi. And now Bully will play against our famous, our beloved Upper Tree Zelda, aka Cell. I think that's going to be a great freaking game. I'm very excited for it. Lino wins the event. <laughs> I think the next round is already tough. I think Lino plays Nihat, right? I think Nihat is the uh, Hungarian Terran player that we recently had in the big rain bouts. Nihat is good. So Lino did win. This is a banger prediction, by the way, guys. I want to see 1 million channel points for this absolute banger of a best of one. Bully, aka 4.8k USA Toss. Cell, aka... $440 mouse, but bunker, question mark? 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes. I want to see 1 million points being wagered on this absolute banger. Uh, yeah, I do actually, guys, believe that our man Upper Tree is live as well. If he is live, there are two things that are very important. One... Please ask him indeed about the indictment of Donald Trump. He's very passionate about it. He has a very balanced take on things. He will, you know, go over both sides of the argument. Second, ask him about his bunker. The man's got a four, uh, $440 mouse. Arguably the most expensive mouse ever created in the history of competitive video gaming. But unfortunately, the mouse did not come with an instruction on where to build your first bunker. But he's still gaming. He's still trying. He's figuring it out. Here we go. Banger of best of one. I'm excited for this one. Let's get it on. Round one. Fight. In the bottom right side of Neo Humanity, we are looking at the main base of the American Toss. Uh, last weekend, you guys saw him in the Ruddy Community Rumble playing one hell of a series against Jesu. And I was generally impressed by him, guys. Like, no joke, no cap. He had great interviews, but he actually displayed really well. Great micro, great transitions. This is Bully, the American Protoss. GG's Lino, you played well, mate. Top left side of Neo Humanity, we are looking at the main base of our pal. He's everyone's pal. He loves politics, he loves expensive mice, and he helps every single nerd in the StarCraft 2 scene with streaming setups. Like, you need help with lights, Cell is your guy. You need help with a microphone, Cell's your guy. Microphone, arm, camera, PC, keyboards, you need help, this man is your guy. It's my pal, it's Cell, aka Upper Tree. It's USA versus Canada. It's a banger of a best of one. Vintage Crispy says, I feel like I've missed the, the mouse bunker meme. So basically, three weeks ago, uh, I was playing some ladder. And all of a sudden, I very casually queue up against my pal Cell. We are playing a game on Ancient Cistern. And this is right after uh, Cell made a couple tweets about his brand new mouse. He bought the most expensive mouse that I've ever heard of. 440 Canadian dollars for the brand new Razer Viper Ultra Light Mini something something. And he scouts, I scout, I make a stalker. And imagine that this is Asian Cistern, right? You would. Oh my god! Cell! No! And he's kind of doing it again! The man doesn't know where to fucking build his bunker! He plays Starcraft 2 24 7. And he's going to pretend that this bunker is great because of Blink Stalker all in and it protects your tanks. But this is not where you build your first bunker. Because now stalkers can just run past it without taking any damage. It's unbelievable. The bunker again, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Cell is going to defend it too. He's going to make it seem like it's a good bunker. It's not. This is not where you build your bunker. <laughs> okay, okay. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You build your bunker in the middle, guys. That's where you build your bunker. <laughs> Obviously, like, later on, I understand what Cell was going at, because to put the memes aside, Cell was trying to create a sim city with, like, some depots to get a wall off, then get the tank, and then the bunker is kind of part of the wall, but this is not where you build your first bunker. It's 
This is not a thing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Ayogu, for the five gifted subbies. I really appreciate it. Hello, Trigger. We're doing great, mate. I've been having a lot of fun. I'm mostly uh, focusing on lower bracket in the beginning. Just to give some nerds a platform and uh, make them play a best of one. Get them casted. And then obviously soon we're going to focus on the high level StarCraft. I think these are basically like the last rounds of community StarCraft, right? I think after this, it's all going to get pretty serious already. I, I haven't taken a look at the bracket in a while, guys. Because the bracket is just so big. And I've just been trying to cover as many games as possible. But after this best of one... I'll lean back a little bit and uh, we'll actually just go over the bracket and see what we can cast. Yo, let's freaking go. Mate, that's a big one. Legend. Legend alert, guys. Rowan Bach gifting us 50 freaking subs. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got upper three. It's playing a, a rather standard build, you know, all things considered. It was Barracks, Fast Expand, Factory, two more Barrackses. I can get behind that. I was very impressed by Bully's transitions and scouting uh, last week against Jesu, who is around the 5k MMR Terran as well. I think Jesu and Upper 3 probably quite similar in skill, right? I'm not sure exactly who would be better. Maybe sell a tiny bit better, but... It is obviously important, guys, that Bully is going to get his stalkers to the other side of the map. So this is why Cell loves the Cell Bunker. So you can create this city here, but it's, it's, this is not how you open. I, I know what he tries, but this is it's not a thing. It's a thing later on, but not in the beginning. We are apparently waiting now, guys, for our starport to finish up as well. It seems that Cell is very paranoid about the Blink Stalker regression, but Bully has gone up to three bases. So it almost feels like we're defending against a build that's not really happening. Like, if if Cell's opponent was 4-gate Blink Stalker, 2 base here, committed nothing but Stalkers and tries to kill him, all of this is good, obviously. But since Bully is expanding, Cell throws down a scan right now. It's a good scan. Now he knows about the third base. Yo, thank you, Standburger. Thank you guys, mate. Honestly, thanks to the community tonight. Obviously, first of all, Basilisk, right? Because without Basilisk, none of this would have happened. But I think everyone did a great job in spreading the word, getting people excited, convincing people to sign up. I haven't seen a tournament this big in years. Legitimately in years. So I think it's been awesome. I think it's ready for a whiskey soon. Lower record is best of one, yes. Like, I know that a lot of people thought it was crazy to do a lower bracket, but I really don't think that lower bracket best of one makes things that much longer. It's more just an extra opportunity for everyone to have a fun game if you had a tough draw on the upper bracket. I just thought of it from the point of view that if I was a player, if I was a community member, what would I enjoy? And I would enjoy a second chance. Uh, no Jaeger bombs, but a little whiskey, absolutely. Yeah, I think I will go Jameson's because that's the only bottle that's open. Mm -hmm. How many people checked in for the tourney? Uh, over 200. I don't know how many we had exactly, but it was over 200. <laughs> 230. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. Weird comment. Over generous. Very weird comment. No need to be weird, guys. It's a fun day. Don't be too weird. Cell's going up to three bases. And now it has three tanks in the center of the map. What is this? The tank ambush? As he goes for a little scan. I'm surprised that Bully is afraid of that army, by the way. Because I think if you kill the Marauder, you can actually outmicro that army with seven or eight stalkers. Especially if plus, uh, plus one would have been done. But I think even without plus one. So, does set up a double drop, guys. And Bully doesn't really have a whole lot in position. He's going to see one stray marine, but we're going to have to warp in some units. Cell throws down the scan. No recall available. This is a good drop by Cell. It's a solid drop by Cell. We do have a couple of Zealots. Ah, I think Cell should have stayed there. It's still all right. Okay. We obviously don't want to lose the Metavex if we don't have to. Cell's going to try to pick up these units, get out of there. Decent little drop. I'm not upset over it. Decent little drop. 
Cell has played a very defensive and passive game though, so he's gonna need a few more moves like that to really get back into the game because he's down 16 workers. But we, we know that Cell can be good, guys. A little bit of multi-prong, couple of Marines and Marauders in the third base, picks them up as well as getting a cancel on the fourth base. This is the way you come back into this game. He's not ultra far behind, but I would say he's a little bit behind. And still finding damage though. Losing a couple units as well, but finding damage. Cell's game yesterday against Zerg was very good. I didn't see it. Ooh, can get a kill maybe. No, it's the second cancel. Bully thought the units had left, but the units didn't leave yet. It is close between these two, eh? I do think it is close. Like right now it's 56 SCVs against 57 probes and it's 3 base against 3 base. So Cell has just turned a pretty dire scenario into a very playable scenario. On the other hand, Bully is double forge. Bully does have a couple of Colossus, has blink charge plus 1 thermal lens. It really just comes down to the execution and who spends the money better, who micros better. Oh, the army cell is not ready for this army, guys. I think we should pick up the tanks and leave, man. Like, yes, okay. Widow Mines fire, no observer in the mix. Can we save the tanks? Don't worry about the bio cell. Don't kite with your man effects. Just run home. Cell. Okay, throws down a scan. He's going to try to avoid it. What is he doing, the mad lad? He's just going to ignore the army. Oh, no, cell picks up two man effects full of units. <laughs> we could have just steamed on the high ground cell. We didn't have to put those units in man effects. And now we are a bit out of position. And with a bit, I mean, we are terribly out of position. The doors in the third base are wide open. We do have the double drop with three tanks still inside of the Metavax. Maybe a base for a base, but... Well, I think it's going to be very rough, so... Down 50 army supply. We do still have to sell Bunker, though. In before this Bunker wins the game. I will never make fun of Cell again for the rest of my life. Pooley is retreating, which I'm a bit surprised by. Since I feel like he just killed a lot of supply, he knows that this army is here. If I was him, I would have at least taken out the natural. Instead, Bullis is going to go in and try to get this army. Gets the three tanks rather quickly. We'll lose a lot of workers, though, in return. This obviously allows the Terran to macro up a little bit again. 43 workers against uh, 40 SCVs. Two base against two base. Do we have any tanks left? It's only a Marauders and, and uh, Marines and a couple of Widow Mines. What Cell needs, I think, is a lucky kill on the Observer and then hoping that Widow Mines really put a number on the army of Bully. And at the same time, then, still dropping. What about it? Artosis Pile and $10 Bounty. That's the thing. That is the thing. I forgot about that, but it's the thing. I'll keep an eye on it. The Artosis Pile of the day. <laughs> Who did you lose to, uh, Fiont? Can we get a unit comp check? Yeah, absolutely. 12 Marauders, 29 Marines against 3 Colossus, 26 Stalkers, disrupted 2 Archons. Cell dropping in the main base and also Widow Mine dropping uh, the bottom. Unfortunately, the army in the main base already died. Can this Widow Mine burrow? The answer is no. That means that Cell has just lost 3 more Metavax and the losses do really start piling up. Ducky. I don't know about that Ducky. After what you did to Vicky tonight, I don't know if we can just thank you for the raid or something. Yes, we did want to save a uh, good replace, that is for sure. But I think so far we have done mostly community stock, we have nothing too crazy. The Alex007, who is running uh, Starcraft for ESL. Alright guys, 81 hours supply. Cell needs to pull off a miraculous comeback. Good job here by evacuating the third base and even going for the hidden base. I like it. I really like what Cell's doing here. He's outmaneuvering the Protoss army. He's gonna try to get on top of this base. We left behind a whole bunch of Widow Mines. Honestly, pretty good traps by Cell. One of them does not fire. But he does get seven probes. He gets the Nexus. But can we get out of here with some units? Yeah. These are good plays by Cell, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> they were good plays by Cell. But that was unfortunately the wrong direction to fly into. <laughs> the play was good. I love the hidden base. I love evacuating the third. I love sniping the Nexus, leaving the Widow Mines behind. 
Unfortunately, that was uh, yeah the wrong way to evacuate. Like, he turned around as well. Otherwise, he would have been easily... Like, this was never supposed to happen. If he did... Like, if he would have just picked up these units, guys, and immediately fly to the bottom left side, the Stalkers can never catch it. But it's because he turns around with the Medivac that he allows the Stalkers to take the other route. Like, they turn around here, and now they use half the boost. And now the boost runs out, even stopped it there. Obviously, great play by Bully. Great game by Bully. GG gets called. And Bully wins the battle of the American community heroes.